Hello Sagittarius, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. Um, Sagittarius, this reading will be a general reading for January 15th through the 31st. My readings are timeless, so whenever you see this is when you are meant to receive it. So let's get into this energy. Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius spirit? Give me a message for Sagittarius. We have seasonal harvest. And I'm led to draw one more. We also have go with the flow. Okay. What else do we have for Sagittarius? What is your energy, Sagittarius, for January 15th through the 31st? What is your energy? We have turn criticism into kindness. So yeah, go with the flow. Um, don't take in the negative things that people say. Align your intentions with your actions. So feel more grounded. You know, um, I feel like that would be very important for you. Let me take one more. We have devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized you are loved unconditionally yeah you know i feel like sagittarius if people are like doubting you they may be putting you down at the moment you may be hearing um people say negative things but i feel like those words can't touch you i feel like your spirit is very grounded very nourished you know I feel like you have protection your spiritual letting you know that you're unconditionally loved and your harvest is coming in just go with the flow of things you know don't let these negative things that may be surrounding you at the moment don't let them touch you don't let them penetrate you know how you're feeling or where you're going in your life don't let that be a setback because your harvest is coming in. Okay, what messages do we have for Sagittarius for January 15th through the 31st? What messages do we have for Sagittarius, please, spirits? What messages do we have for Sagittarius, spirits? Yes, definitely the Ace of Swords. And we have the Five of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups. Wow, okay. And we have the Death Card. Yes. Okay, Sagittarius. At the bottom we have... The hangman. We also have the eight of pentacles. Okay. Yeah, I feel like Sagittarius, you're going through this time in your life where I feel like you're sacrificing so much. I, I feel like you may have also sacrificed wisdom in your situation. But I feel like you're gaining clarity. You're gaining your clarity. You're finding your groundness. You're working at bettering yourself, bettering your situation. And I feel like you're working very hard. You're trying to find the answers. And I feel like with this Ace of Swords here, I feel like these answers are come, becoming more clear. It's becoming more clear what you need to do and where you need to go. I, I also believe, Sagittarius, it's becoming more clear what you need to let go of in order to move into this better situation. 
I feel like this has spilled for a reason. And I feel like although you want to carry some of it with you, I feel like you know what you need to let go of. I feel like you have a lot of truth. You found out a lot of truth. A lot of things have been revealed to you. Um, and I feel like you... It's helping you gain your focus. You know? You're getting this these new ideas. You may be also getting downloads while you sleep. Or these downloads are coming to you as a form of your intuition, inner guidance. But I feel like it's leading you. It's leading you towards more balance. It's leading you towards a place that's going to set you in a better position. You may also be juggling so many so many opportunities. That's what I wanted to say first. That's what I'm going to go with. You're juggling opportunities. Wow, okay. I'm going to let spirit lead me on this. Okay. We have the Nine of Cups and we also have the Death card. So I feel like, you know, with these changes that you're making, with these opportunities that are coming ahead of you, I feel like you're changing. This is changing your situation in a way that you're going to feel more happy, more content. These are your blessings coming through. And I feel like, now look, you have Nine Cups. You know, so I feel like out of these opportunities, you have so much abundance. These are your wishes coming true. These are, are the intentions that you have set forward because of these changes that you made. And I feel like it's pushing you into this new transformed Sagittarius. It's creating something within you that feels more vibrant, feels more new feels more focused. Tell me more for Sagittarius. Give me more of a message for Sagittarius, please. Spirit. Give me more messages for a Sagittarius. Tell me more about this. Yeah, we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. Ooh. We have the Four of Cups. And, okay, the Four of Cups wanted to come out in reverse. The Page of Swords wanted to come out upright. So we'll keep it like that. Okay. The four, there's a lot of swords here, Sagittarius. A lot of air. You may have uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini in your horoscope. Um, or this could be someone that you're dealing with. And you have the High Priestess. Okay. At the bottom you have... The Five of Wands. But the Five of Wands is in reverse. So I feel like. Where I feel like. Where, where you have just been. May have had a lot of conflict. A lot of chaos. A lot of you know maybe arguing. Maybe debating some kind of situation. This could be a work situation. This could be love. But I feel like. The conflict is over. You're done with it. You're done thinking about it with this Four of Cups energy in reverse. You're done thinking about it. You're no longer contemplating. You're no longer giving it any more pleasure. 
you're you're this is a situation I feel like you're letting go of I feel like you're gaining so much clarity and you're you may also be putting a stop to gossip and rumors you see that people are talking about this situation and now you're like done with it you're you're putting a stop to it you're you're not even taking time out to give it any sort of pleasure you know what i mean um with this four of pentacles and the king of swords i feel like you know this was a situation that if this is a person I feel like this person got greedy and now you're trying to find balance this person may have been obsessing about you uh, they may have been trying to take too much of your time. They may have been trying to control you or control your finances. And I feel like you've had enough. You totally had enough with this King of Swords energy. This is a strategic move on your part. I feel like this is something that you planned out that you're planning to let go of this is something that you put a lot of thought behind you feel like telling this person the truth about the situation and I feel like the truth cuts like a knife but whatever this is you're like putting a stop to it you're not even letting it you're not even letting it touch you anymore. You're like regaining your balance. You're recovering from the situation. You're not even letting it affect you. You found out all the secrets, all the mysteries. And now you're like putting it to rest. You're putting it to rest. You're focusing on your recovery on Sagittarius you're not focusing on this situation any longer because I feel like so much truth has come out of this situation and I feel like you're moving towards a better situation you're moving towards something that's going to give you a lot more balance something that's going to give you a lot more pleasure you know you have four four in this situation so I feel like with Four 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 stability. It's feeling more balanced, you know. Finding your ground, recovering from the situation, and I feel like that's what you're doing. Definitely. You're you're finding your balance. You're recovering. You're transforming, because you're following your true path. You're following your intuition. You've learned these secrets and now this is changing everything. Let's clarify this a bit for Sagittarius. Let's clarify this situation. Spirit, please let me know with this Ace of Swords. Tell me about this Ace of Swords energy. The Ten of Swords. There are so many swords in here. You may be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra. Or like I said, this may be in your chart. But I feel like with the Ace of Swords, you're done. You're done. You're done dealing with it. You're moving into brighter skies. You're done putting your energy into this situation. This is complete. It's done. It's over with. You know? You're ready to start something new. With every ending, there's always a new beginning. 
and that's what this is. This is the ending to this because you gained all this insight. You gained all this truth. You know, you gained all this clarity. Um, so you're going into this new logic, this new thinking. Tell me about this Five of Cups, Spirit. Tell me more about this Five of Cups, the Devil. Yeah. You may have had a long time to think about this. This may have been really hard for you to let go of. It may be something that was so hard you kind of obsessed about it. This was like almost like letting go of an addiction. Something that was just so hard to let go of. Something that just didn't work. Hmm. This could also be a Capricorn. If there's a Capricorn in your life, the devil can also re represent Capricorn. Um... Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. What is this Two of Pentacles spirit? The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like a reliable person is going to come help you through this. You're going to have support. You're taking action, but you're also feeling stuck. You're kind of slowed down to a crawl. You know? Tell me about this Nine of Cups spirit. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups. Okay, the Eight of Wands in reverse. So I feel like with this Nine of Cups energy, I feel like you kind of had hope that this situation would not go as far as it did. But I feel like where you were hoping for communication, this situation is like there's no communication at all. It's like you're waiting. You're in this stuck energy. You're waiting for something to be communicated to you. But this communication doesn't come. No one is taking action at the moment. What is this death card? Tell me more about this death card spirit. The Seven of Cups. Are all these cards in reverse? Wow. The Seven of Cups in reverse. Sagittarius, you feel like... Where you know that there's changes that need to be made. And I feel like big changes are coming. Whether you see it or not. Big changes are coming. But I feel like you have a lack of opportunity to make changes. You're feeling like... You're feeling like... You know, these changes are never going to come. This also, if this is a person in your life, it could be that either you or the, this person didn't want to make a commitment to change. They didn't want to make a commitment ch to change. Or this is you. You're kind of doubting that this change can happen. You're, you're like in this stuck energy. You don't want it to follow through. You're 
kind of at a standstill. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. We've got so many cards here. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. We also have the Page of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Okay, Sagittarius. With this Four of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands. So we have ten ten above each other. That may be very significant. Now, tens are a number of completion. This is a cycle that's ending. Whether you know it or not, this is a cycle that's ending. You're getting a new beginning. Something new is starting. Something new is starting, you know. Um, and I feel like it's going to bring you more balance. It's going to bring you more uh, contentment, more pleasure. Because you also have the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like someone is coming in to offer you some kind of support. Someone's coming in to offer you some kind of guidance in this situation. This could also be you moving into a new position. You may receive word about a new position. Or you may receive word about something that's very important for your move. But something's coming through that's going to raise your your hopes because you have the hierophant so so something is increasing your hope in the situation this could also be you kind of connecting with your spiritual self more this could also be you really researching the situation you could be studying you could be also writing or um but I feel like this is a learning experience. This is something that you're going through that is meant for you to learn and move on. This is a learning experience for you. Tell me what this King of Swords is. What is this King of Swords? Temperance. So something that this King of Swords is telling you. Some kind of truth this king is delivering. Some kind of strategic thought that they're supporting you with. It's helping you gain your balance. Gain your self-control. Whether you feel like you were addicted or you feel like you were blocked or held back or in some kind of toxicity that you weren't able to run from, that you felt binded to. I feel like you're being released and you're being provided the control to look past it. This is your healing. The temperance usually comes after the death card and we do have the death card here in this reading. So after the death card is the temperance. That is your healing. That is your balance. That is your patience to move into this next journey that you need to go on. This is like a lesson in self-discovery. What is this Four of Cups and Page of Swords? Tell me more about this. Four of Cups and Page of Swords. Spirit. Yeah, the Three of Cups. So definitely, you're being supported. If you're not being supported physically, you are being supported spiritually. Sagittarius. Your angels are letting you know that you are unconditionally loved. You have protection. Your spirit guides and your angels are surrounding you with so much angelic love you know and support they're walking this walk right with you what is this four of swords spirit tell me about this four of swords the queen of cups yeah while you're recovering from the situation i feel like you're learning to love yourself again you're having more patience 
you're learning to focus on what really needs to be focused on. You're learning to really appreciate yourself and everything that you have. She's holding that cup and she's appreciating everything that is providing for her. Everything that is offering to her. And even though she's surrounded by water, water represents emotions. So she's surrounded by emotion. She still appreciates. She still holds that cup close to her, you know. And I feel like that's what you're doing while you're recovering, while you're, you know, while you're finding yourself in this situation. Tell me about this high priestess spirit. What is this high priestess? The Queen of Pentacles. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're finding that you are sufficient. You are worth it. You are self-sufficient in your situation. This is also... You being very resourceful. You're finding your resources. I feel like you're trusting yourself more. You also have the Queen of Wands at the bottom. Yes. Wow. Okay. So we have three queens come out back to back to back. So this is letting you know. You are a queen, whether you're male or female. You are a queen. You're, you're carrying those qualities. The Queen of Wands, she's very feisty, very confident, very self-assured. And I feel like you're, you're finding that again. You're finding your beauty within yourself. You're finding that you're worthy of so many good things. You're finding your strength. The wands represent fire. And fire is very strong. Very fiery. Very, you know, feisty. Free-spirited. Very creative. And I feel like you're finding that within yourself. Now, I'm not sure why I picked up these cards, but I feel like I need to take one. Spirit, give me a message for Sagittarius. I'm blocking you. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, I also have on the bottom clear your energy. So yeah, that's what I have, Sagittarius. I feel like you make me so angry. Wow. Believe me. Yeah. I was drawn to pick up those those cards and I haven't did it for any of the other readings. So I mean I knew there was a reason why I picked up those cards. And spirit was leading me to do so. So, yeah. I'm drawn by whatever I need to do. Okay, let's take a look. What other messages do we have for Sagittarius? What other messages do we have for Sagittarius, please? What does Sagittarius need to know? We have called Soul Gifts and training it's time to step up like i said i feel like you know spirit is surrounding you they're guiding you they're with you whether you feel it or not we also have water your garden okay sagittarius if you'd like to ask a question now's the time if you'd like you can pause the video um and we'll get an answer for your question okay spirit Give me a message for Sagittarius. 
there's something better. What else do we have for Sagittarius, please? Yes. Okay, if you'd like to ask a question, ask another question. I'm going to take another card. Choose a new direction. Okay, and we have ask for help from others. Okay, Sagittarius, this is your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Um, also, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And until the next reading, Sagittarius, love and light.